aircon sound tight on it strong noted <laughs> nothing gets past do you know what i mean noted that that's okay Hi, um welcome to gabe turner writer and director of the guthers and harley sylvester sylvester yes yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, i never say that right um from obviously the start of the film and obviously one half of river kids as well hello. yes hello um, so, first up, tell us a little bit about the film. So the film is about two um, warring parties of different ages, so old versus young, uh, they have a battle, but essentially it's about two main characters, Harley's character and Doug Allen's character, um, and a clash of two different eras, two different sets of rules, and, and how that all interrelates, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Is that fair enough? I think so, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. makes sense. Um, Okay, obviously uh, you're a little bit of a football fan from your um, back catalogue. <laughs> yeah. I've seen what you've obviously done in the hands of God and um, a class of 92 as well, both about football documentaries. Um, what made you want to go into a, do a feature film? I think I've always, always wanted to do fiction and, and feature films. Um, this was an opportunity to do that. Uh, I think that everyone has a different path in. Uh, mine was just documentaries, and obviously, yeah, I do love football, and there's a small <laughs> element of football in this. Yeah, obviously. Um, yeah. Um, so you've got a favourite team. I know you're a gooner. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm a Sunderland fan, although my accent would suggest otherwise. But um, okay, I do have a soft spot for Arsenal as I've well. I've now got a soft spot for Sunderland. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mutual respect between yeah. Arsenal and Sunderland. Yeah. Working too closely together. <laughs> yeah. I actually, I actually remember David O'Leary scoring an own goal against Sunderland at Highbury. I remember that. I was Do there. Do you remember that? I was yeah. there. Oh my god. That was an outrageous <laughs> own goal. Yeah, it was. Oh my god. I was probably about six. Yeah, you were probably not born like that. yet. Something like that. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> but it break it breaks my heart that Arsenal don't play at Hi Highbury still. Oh, I, I love that I ground. I miss Highbury. I agree with you. Really? Yeah. yeah. It had so much I character. I, I don't know. The character of Highbury was was an, uh, it was an, uh, yeah. the North Bank man. It was yeah, unbelievable. Exactly. Yeah, it was good. I loved it there. Yeah, it was a good ground. Okay, um, so um, having seen the film, it's actually pretty violent in places. It is. From the opening scene, <laughs> that was, that yeah, really sorry made me that. cringe. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of the idea, I suppose. <laughs> it was set, funny, it was funny actually. The tone. We wrote that, that, that scene actually in the script was slightly later, <coughs> um, and Harley's performance was so strong, he was so terrifying that we thought it was the perfect way to introduce his character. Yeah. It definitely um, was. Yeah. <laughs> but what was really frightening was on the day when we shot that, we were shooting at the Thamesmead Estate, mm -hmm. and all around there, kids were, uh, at the time that we were shooting, kids would go to school in the morning, they'd come back in the afternoon, and we would shoot mostly during the day when no one was around. But that scene, because he was doing so well, we kind of, we carried on shooting, and you know, we tried different stuff out, we realised how important it was, because Harley was kind of in the zone, and you could tell it was a really important scene, so we gave it a bit more time. So we went slightly over, and, and about four o'clock, the school started to leave, so we were blocking off the road so we didn't want any of the kids to see because it was quite harrowing. And a couple of kids snuck round and watched and one of them started crying. It was really <laughs> oh sad. God. It just scared <laughs> them. Yeah. I started crying at one point as well. Yeah, I, I, felt, I felt really bad actually. Um, yeah, was there any accidents on set or anything? Especially like um, at the one of the end, the end scene, like, like the big battle and it's like brick throwing and everything like that. Did, did anybody get hurt from those things? Mm. No, no, yeah. No, I think we were pretty safety conscious uh, <laughs> throughout the entire <laughs> shoot. I don't know. Yeah, no, it's not, no, 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 no one got hurt. Yeah. No one got hurt, fortunately. Yeah. yeah, no one got hurt in the making of the governors. Um, Harley got told off by the armorer for like <laughs> for being oh, yeah. for being too relaxed with the with the fake gun. <laughs> yeah, he got told off, and he got shouted at in front of everyone. It was brilliant. The guy oh. just went nuts. It was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Um, to be honest with you, when I heard you were in this film, I was just like, oh god, another rapper trying to act. Uh, let me finish. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I'm not actually a rapper though, that's the thing. I'm like, oh, you know uh, what I mean, a musician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I was actually really blown away with your performance. Oh, thank you like, very much. Fantastic. Thank it's you. Like, completely. Wow. Um, what made you want to like, branch out into acting? Um, well, acting kind of has always been my main passion um, throughout school, and co that's what I studied. At, I went to Brit School and studied yeah, theatre. Yeah, I found that out doing research. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, so it was it was that that was kind of my thing. Um, that's what I wanted to do, and uh, it, it boiled down to one kind of conversation. Um, in the second year of college, 
by Jordan, the other guy, and okay, said, uh, stop applying for drama school and we'll give it a year and we'll see what happens. Because I kind I had a few auditions and I was getting into the next round of certain drama schools and I was get, doing quite well. And he was like, just let's just give it a year and if nothing happens, then go back and do your thing. I was like, yeah, why not? I'm 18 years old, nothing to lose, really. Yeah. Um, and luckily within like two or three months, uh, we had like a record deal. That's so, really quick. Yeah, it was pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, I had, a, I had a job for about two months and then, uh, and then got signed and it was great. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so the, the kind of acting thing took a took a understandable hiatus, I suppose. Um, but yeah, and then, and then this when this project came along, it seemed kind of like the perfect time to, to get into it, work with someone that I'm very close to already, um, work on something that I don't think would be too out of my depth necessarily. Um, yeah, I think it was just kind of the perfect starting point uh, for where, my acting career could hopefully blossom and um, I wanted to play this character especially because it's so far detached from what I'm actually like yeah. um, I wanted people to kind of watch it and be like okay fair enough mm -hmm. whether or not they kind of necessarily like the way I portrayed the character or whatever about the film at least they could kind of see like oh, he's done something fairly interesting yeah, I actually wanted to give you a kick in myself at one yeah. point during the film. <laughs> well, that's, 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 <laughs> I suppose that's the idea. But I, th I think uh, there, there are certain points in the film where you do kind of sympathise with my character. It's not all hate yeah. towards him. I mean, that's, I think that's what Gabe has achieved very well, actually, mm -hmm. is kind of not making it so that it's very one-sided. You're kind of in, indifferent at, at many points. Okay, that's cool. Mm. Um, so what's, what's next for you guys? Oh, I don't know. We're, I don't know. But something big. <laughs> something big. No, Have I think. A documentary um, or. No, I'd like to. I'd like to continue. To, yeah, I'd like to continue to do both documentaries and fiction films. But I think me and Harley are keen to work again together. And, and um, yeah, now he's played such a bad bloke. It might be quite <laughs> fun to play a good bloke and have <laughs> a film. Sandy. A film that's a little <laughs> bit more upbeat and. Uh, but no, but no. I think I think we're talking about various different projects. Um, mm. We always do. We always have done. That's partly how this came about. So Brilliant. I'm sure um, there'll be something soon. I keep my eye open. For yeah, that. definitely. Yes. I know you guys have got a new single out. Yeah. Out now. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, it is out. Yeah, it's actually quite good. I quite liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Again, I'm just so like, so <laughs> 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 in mouth. <laughs> it's right, don't I? No, I'm a little bit older, so you know you're doing. Music that you put out is not really my type, but I actually quite like I, it. If you didn't like our music, I wouldn't judge. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, good luck with it anyway. Thank you, very, thank much. you very much. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers. Okay. Sweet as. Thank you. Thank you. I'm <laughs> thank glad you. you liked it.